trips in these kind of latitude patterns. <coughs> Go check Essex County. Then zip down here. This is Norfolk County. Kind of southwest of Boston. Then jump over to It's moving. There's some. And over the boardwalk we go. That's a cool oak. I'm not quite sure what that one is. The reddish oaks, I believe, are the ones that are all sharp on their leaves. And the ones with the more rounded, gentler lobes, those would be the white oaks. And there's other odd things like burr oaks with varying degrees of toleration for dry. That's the main factor in their distribution. Look at this glimmering, funny little pond on this really ancient nurse tree, still keeping its shape. semi-aquatic stuff and look there's a lot of sphagna peat moss it's one of the most beautiful green colored things you're gonna find so it's the beginning of a little peat bog stuff and we're not talking about money. So we're, this would be a loop trail. Who knew that a saxophonist could be involved in trails? But the way they set up the bay circuit we're using upper part of the Hobbs Loop Trail. And once you're on that, you're pretty well on your way out of Massachusetts out of Bond Land.
another. Some splash glimpse of the colorful maple swamp. Handover should be interesting tomorrow. They like to route the route boardwalks right through the middle of the color. I bet you there's still some there. Work our way through this other little hilly zone. It's a moderately strenuous section. northward direction a long road to Newberry Port and this would be our southerly direction with but a short jaunt to Duxbury Join a boulder train
can tell by my labored breathing that I'm psyched to be here. See, you got a cool little remnant cedars. Pleasant places to sit. 